I know I'm late as usual with this information, but it seems that Wendy Williams has spoken out about the cheating rumors and her husband had something to say as well. Here we go again. I mean, this is a true show and there's more. Oh, I'm not done yet. Oh, and there's more. Oh, I'm not done yet. I mean, this is a true show. Oh, yes. Their business is our business. It's been the motto of the Hot Topics Bureau since the show was invented during our six week sneak peek 11 years ago and it's so crazy because now my business is your business. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> Turnabout's a fair game, I get it. My business is your business. I can tell you this, I had a really good weekend. I got together with my girls. Um, I told you I have my sober friends. I have six of them that are really good and one of, or two of them are my sponsors. And um, they came over to Sober House this weekend and they had wrap sandwiches, but I had the leftover from Tao the night before. <laughs> Just saying. They like wrap sandwiches. I wanted leftover peanut butter noodles and, and, and um, steak and stuff. You know what I mean? It was only leftover for one. <laughs> the night before, I had like a three hour dinner at Tao with my sister. She's up from Miami, you know, talking and powwowing with me. Yeah, yeah not, not all. It's always nice to spend time with your sister. They correct some of the things that you do wrong and they help you when you're not doing enough and they tell you how to do it. You know what I mean? I'm moving out of Sober House in just a few days, you know? It'll be Wendy on her own. I know, I know. Well, I have to tell you, I have to tell you, you, you know I've been dealing with issues with addiction, alcoholism, and I have a whole new life that I plan for myself and my son. And, Believe me, you. When you lay in a room with no TV and four gray walls all day and no telephone at your all ready and you lay there and you think about your life, this is my life at the sober house. It's one of the best things, honestly, that could have ever happened to me. Because, you know, when you think about your life, you think about, you know, how you've been delivering to the world, especially here on the show. You know, it's no secret, we're friends and sometimes you don't like me. But either way, thank you for watching every day. But, you know, um, you know, you wear a different mask when you're out here. You, everybody has, including you, whether you're a secretary or a school teacher or whatever, everybody has things in their life that they're embarrassed to share with the world or they're frightened to share with the world or they're not ready to share with the world. And addressing my uh, sobriety, my addiction head on has really helped me sort out every single compartment of my life. That's all. I have a commitment to me and my son to come out of here better, stronger, and faster than ever. And by the way, and by the way, and by the way, I will still commit, because you'll forget about my business any moment now. Um, and, then, and then I commit that the motto of this show will always be, their business is our business. That's right. Here's what Kevin had to say. I am not proud of my recent actions and take full accountability and apologize to my wife, my family, and her amazing fans. And then he said in a statement to People on Tuesday morning, I am going through a time of self-reflection, hence midlife crisis, and am trying to right some wrongs. 28 years ago, I met an amazing woman, Wendy Williams, at the time. I didn't realize that she would not only become my wife, but would also change the face of entertainment in the world. I have dedicated most of our lives to the business empire that is Wendy Williams Hunter, a person that I truly love and respect unconditionally. No matter what the outcome is or what the future holds, we are still the Hunter family and I will continue to work with and fully support my wife in the business and through any and all obstacles she may face living her new life of sobriety. While I also work on mine, he said, I ask that you please Please give me and my family privacy as we heal. Thank you. His entire statement is literally a reflect of what she said. It sounded like what he is and have been for years, it seems, 
her business partner and it's also funny how she also sort of went around the crucial statement of her marriage they both did and she just talked about her fake relapse and drug addiction you know, although I've been a team Wendy and I may sit up here and talk about our marriage issues and many lies that she tell in reference to that. But after the last few years of events and scandals and regarding to her marriage, I must say I'm disappointed. She once again is denying the truth. No one wants to hear about your bullshit alcohol addiction. Wendy is playing games in the media. You know what? I'm starting to think that what I've been saying is so freaking true. It's scary. Her husband and she have been separated for years and that is one of the reasons why she hasn't spoke about this because she will have to admit that she's been living a lie for years but to not speak on it also pisses you off because she always have crap to say about everyone else's relationship but hers is sacred bullshit you know I've been stead against karma talking and, and her reaping what she sow and all of that when it came to her but the veil has been lifted and if any woman can sit on TV and belittle people and ruin careers of predominantly people of her own damn color and when her skeletons are out and her slip is showing and she too is the top news and she still not talk about it and still act like she's above majority and she is only to be the judger and not to be judged makes me lose all respect for that person i mean damn your husband has gotten another woman pregnant and they have a child together and not only that he's buying her cars houses condos and diamond rings for her and hell let's be honest here mostly with your damn money and you still don't say anything makes you a freaking hypocrite and to be honest you don't deserve to have your own damn show to be a true gossip columnist and a truth speaker you have to tell the truth about yourself too especially when it's needed a true leader rolls their sleeve up just like the rest and gets in and work with the rest of the crew so if you're a freaking hot topic heck a hot topic on the damn view cnn tmz and more everywhere it's time to talk hell you're in everyone else's business tell yours now or is it something you're afraid of us finding out what do kevin have over you wendy what is he blackmailing you for for you to allow this scrutiny and lies did you two really have something to do with antoine jackson's death and he's threatened to bring you down with him if you don't comply because the neighbors talk and i did a video about this i will leave the link below or you can just click it at the end of this video i mean come on now her allowing this makes you think her not talking about this also makes you think tell me your thoughts below